Hey, how's everyone doing? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to do the transit Easter egg solo and co-op, but co-op is gonna be pretty much the same as solo in order to do this Easter egg. Also, if you're playing in solo, you will need to download Plutonium and the solo mod from GitHub. I will leave links and steps to install both of these down in the description. Before you get started, whether you're playing solo or co-op, you need to build the nav card table. In my transit Maxis guide, I go into this in more detail, but I'll still explain it in a little more rapid style. There's going to be four parts, and three of the four parts have two spawn locations. Go outside and pick up the meteor here next to the bus. The table can be found in the tunnel going to diner or in the power station right here under the catwalk. The radio can be found in the cornfield inside of Noct or in the garage at diner. Just jump up to grab this part. Finally, the electrical box can be found in town near the box location or in the farm next to the fridge. Take all the parts to the pylon in the cornfield and build them right here. In solo, you can only have one part at a time, so if you pick up a part to something else, you'll end up dropping that original part that you had. Remember where you dropped it or else you'll lose it. Same thing if you go down, you'll also drop the part, but when you build the nav card table, you can do it in one game, leave, and then come back in a different game and do the easter egg. Once you have the table built, you'll never have to build it again, but if someone joins your game that doesn't have it built, you will have to build it again. So just make sure that if you don't want to have to run around and grab all these pieces again, you just have everyone that you're going to play with build it beforehand. Step one is going to be to turn on the power and there's going to be three parts and each part has three possible spawn locations. The main box is going to be on this wall here, leaning on these boxes, or in the buildable room in the right corner. The switch is going to be on these boxes to the right, in the buildable room on this table to the right, or on this table to the left. Finally, the zombie hand is going to be at the top of the stairs on the floor, on the other side also on the floor, and finally to the far right over in this corner also on the floor. Just take all the pieces to the workbench and build them, and then turn on the power. For step two, you need to build the jet gun, and there's going to be four parts with all four parts having three different locations. The jet engine is going to be in the tunnel next to this window on the left, in between the window on the right and the M16, or between these two cars. The wiring is going to be in the power station on this generator, on these barrels, or on the floor in this corner. The handbrake is going to be in Nocter and Toten in the cornfield, on this filing cabinet to the left, on this shelf on the right, or on this cabinet going up the stairs. Finally, the power gauge is going to be in the cabin between power and town on this bed, on this table, or next to the fireplace. When you have all the parts, you can build them in the bar inside town right here. And just remember in solo, you can only have one part at a time. Step three is going to have you go to the electrical pylon in the cornfield and aim the jet gun towards the top and shoot it until it breaks near the nav card table. Just hold down the trigger. For step four, you need to get 25 kills underneath the pylon with only explosive weapons in the center. For this, you should probably get the ray gun or a launcher from the box. And after you've gotten the kills, you can move on to the final step. Step five is going to require you to get EMPs. In co-op, everyone needs to get them. In solo, you need to go to a flickering light post and throw an EMP at it. But before you do so, you need to make a portal at the bottom with a denizen. All you need to do is just get a denizen to latch onto your head and run next to the light and he'll dig into the ground to make the portal. Once you have the portal made, now you can throw the EMP at the light post and jump in the portal. As soon as you come out on the other side, you should already be at another light post and you just need to throw another EMP at it as fast as you can. In co-op, if you have four players, each player is going to need to go to a separate light post and throw an EMP at it at the same time. If you have three players, one player needs to act like they're playing solo and make a portal and throw the two EMPs. And if you only have two players, both of you need to make the portals and throw the EMPs, then jump through and throw more EMPs. To know you've completed this step, a blue light should shoot out of the top of the light post towards the pylon. And that's going to be the transit Richthofen easter egg. If you haven't done this easter egg before for the Maxis side or for Richthofen, you should get an achievement for doing so called Tower of Babel and the pylon will also be glowing blue signifying you've completed the easter egg. Also, when you go into the menu, when you look at Transit's icon, it should be glowing blue. I want to thank all of you for watching this video, and if you have any questions or need help, go ahead and ask me down in the comments. My next video is going to be the Richthofen side for Die Rise, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.